talk about young pitchers in this Radford team. Here's a freshman, Jimmy Lovelace. And, Neil, he got an inning in against Notre Dame, and he has explosive stuff. I was very impressed with this young man's arm. This is going to be his seventh appearance, six and a third innings. This is a guy who has a chance, I think, to be a terrific bullpen piece for Alex Guerrero. He's got the – he's not in line to get a save here with a four-run lead, but he's here out trying to protect this four-run advantage at 10 to 6. He's going to have – Decker, Ali, and Conrad do up here Ooh. in this inning. 93. That was yes. nice, that first pitch right in there to get ahead of the runner. Lively arm, check. And look at that. Then he changes speeds with the changeup. I mean, this is what he did the other day. You can tell. And you talk about a guy who works fast. My Lovelace goodness. works fast. Watch how yeah, quickly. Yeah, he just had three pitches in 20 seconds. You don't need that pitch clock for him. Now he'll walk off here. But watch him. He gets right back on the rubber, and he is ready to go. Here's the 0-2 pitch, one and two. He's got a strong future here at Radford University. Decker, 0 for 4. It's going to be 0 for 5 as the put out is made, short to first. And that's a big first out for Lovelace. And now here's Ali. Good job by Keene there. He scooped it up, kind of double clutch just a little bit, put it right on the money for the first out. Well, Radford needed this. You know, they had the five-game losing streak. Here's a ground ball. Then the second baseman, Butler, going to make the play over. And now Maris down to their final out. And the Red Foxes have to get off the deck tomorrow in the second game of this three-game series. There's Ethan Conrad. He's three for four today. A couple singles and a double, but he's the last remaining hope for the Red Foxes. Whew. And he takes strike one from Lovelace. I was – I'm telling you My about goodness. this kid. Yeah. <laughs> and he's into it. He's very intense. You could see it just before he started pitching, the intensity he brings to the mound. And he's ahead nothing in two. His warm-up pitchers – his warm-up pitches, you know, and just his body language, everything, intense, ready to go. And he is fired Look up. At that. I mean, he looks like a linebacker out there getting ready to try to take out a running back. Here comes the 0-2 from Lovelace, and Whew. Conrad fouls it away. Gave that some juice. That was 94. Well, you said it, Neil. Listen to the dugout response. Yeah, to him. I, I mean, can see him. They are all they're fired up for this kid. The 0-2. High fly ball out in the left field. Camping back on it is Williams. He's got it, and the Highlanders complete a comeback victory. It looked improbable. It was six to one, two in the seventh, seven in the eighth, and how about Lovelace shutting down the Red Foxes in the top of the ninth inning? <laughs> Good start to the weekend for Radford. What are the outfielders doing? That's great. That's great. They were doing the uh, look like the karate kid out there. Neil, thank you. Hey, this was fun. Yeah, we'll see you all weekend. Oh, 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 oh. Well, I don't have other commitments. Thanks to Brian Yohe and the crew. Great job. Thanks to you who watched. Back with you tomorrow at 2, game number 2. Again, the Highlanders win it. Ten runs on seven hits. The Red Foxes, six runs. 12 hits. They committed an error. Highlanders take game one. We'll see you tomorrow here on ESPN+. Plus. Good night, everybody.